Hello, my name is Carlos Jaramillo. I am a paleontologist working for the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. We want, in Panama, we want to understand the history of the tropical rainforest. And to do that, we analyze the fossil record. So we work in, in both in plants and animals. So for instance, we have been working on the largest snake ever found, the Titanoboa. But also we work with plants and we use leaves, like this 60 million year old leaf from the oldest tropical rainforest we know of in Colombia. And also we work with, with pollen grains that allow us a window to the past by looking at the vegetation, because many plants produce pollen that are very resistant and always are preserved in the fossil record. Now let me tell you why the project that we need to transcribe is so interesting. We work a lot in pollen grains. And about five years ago, we received the donation of probably the largest pollen collection from the tropics anywhere in the world. And this is the Alan Graham collection. So Alan Graham was a, is a professor that worked in Kent State for many, many years. And over 40 years, he built this collection by going to many herbariums around the world, collecting pollen from the anthers in the flowers. So these ones are microscopic slides where the pollen has been mounted and each pollen correspond to a plant anywhere within the tropics. So he did that for 20,000 species of tropical plants. So he built his entire reference collection using a, like a library system, using these index cards, as you can see here. The problem that we face now is that every time we want to search for a pollen grain here for a particular plant, we need to come here and look at the, those index cards. So that created a big problem. First, because the only ones that can use these collections are people that is right here in this room. And also, right now we cannot do a search of anything that is in these 20,000, 25,000 index cards because the information is not digital. So I cannot do a search of how many species have been collected from Peru, or how many from Colombia, or what are the species from a given genus. It will be very difficult to find out that just by looking, we will have to look at all the entire index card. So pollen is very useful and is used in many different aspects of our economy and, and research. So we use pollen to date rocks, to know how old sediments are. It's also used in anthropology to understand what humans used to eat before and the pathways they used to walk around. And also it's even used by the Drug Administration, the DEA, because they can track the shipment of illegal drugs across borders because in, in the sacks where the illegal drugs are, the pollen grains are trapped. So you can tell where those are coming from. It's also used in, in honey, in allergies. There are so many different fields that use pollen grains that this resource that we are going to digitize will be very useful across many different fields of expertise. Our project focuses on digitizing every one of those 25,000 index cards. So anybody in the world would be able to access the pollen grains to see how they look like and to, uh, to record, to see all the morphological characters of the pollen grains. We also are, at the same time, we are taking photos of all the pollen grains in all the slides here from all, all of those 25,000 species. And we are describing every pollen grain and we are adding that information to a, a morphological database that is public and is online and is already running. We ask for your support. With your help, we will finish this very soon. I hope by the end of the year, all these index cards, the 25,000 index cards will be digitized. That's the challenge. Uh, that's what we want to do.